What's up, you guys? So there's a documentary out there called Meet Your Meat. Um, it's done by uh, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. And, um, yeah, it's undercover investigation footage of, um, you know, a lot of the very common animal cruelty that happens in slaughterhouses and factory farms and all facilities alike. Because um, there's very little to basically no government oversight. You know, the people in there, they don't have to really follow any laws, you know. And if there are laws, the people at the top, the powers that be, don't enforce them. So the guys working in there, they'll get away with anything they can. And uh, obviously the people who are um, engaging in these cruel acts, they have no heart. They have no respect for animal life. Um, you know, they just, there's nothing there. You know, they're cold as ice. Um, but yeah, the reason I'm making this little intro to this video of um, some of my reaction to watching Meet Your Meat is because I want to warn you guys that you can see some of the footage um, in, the, in the clips I'm about to share. Um, and it's not pleasant. You know, it's horrifying. Uh, I don't care who you are, you know, what your background is, you know, where you come from. You cannot watch Meet Your Meat without not being affected by it. Even if you don't give a shit about animals, but you care about good tasting food, it's going to affect you, you know, because the proof is in, is in the footage I'm about to share with you that at least probably 50% of the meat you eat is probably from animals that were sick because they're forced to live in this environment that just breeds, um, illness and sickness and you know it i mean it's not rocket science that's going to lead to sick animals illness and guess what if they think there's still profit to be made there you know they're gonna keep those animals living they're gonna ride it out because at the end of the day they see profit regardless of what kind of condition the animal's in because they don't give a shit about the actual meat that you're eating they don't care about the meat you're eating they don't care they don't care if it's going to make you sick. They don't give a shit about that, man. At the end of the day, it's about the dollar. It's about the dollar they're going to make the profit, you know. And they know nobody's going to find out. Nobody's going to find out if, you know, the meat they're, they're selling or the meat they're, um, you know, sending out of their facility was from a sick animal, you know. I don't know how they go about determining that, but regardless, you'll see in the footage what I'm talking about. So even for those of you who don't care about animals, but love eating meat, you're going to be horrified by what you see, you know, because it's proof that the meat you're putting in your mouth, there's a good chance at least half of that meat is from an animal that was, you know, pumped with growth hormones, animal that was ill, you know, living in filthy environments. You know, if you can feel good about the meat you eat after watching this, there's something wrong in your head. You know what I mean? Um, you know, and for the people who like animals, love animals, and hate seeing animal cruelty, well, this is going to break your heart for a, an entirely different reason. Because it's it's horrendous. You know, um, you know, and it isn't the the standard practice of slaughtering these animals that really bothers me because it's inevitable, right? I mean, for human consumption, like I get it, like I understand. Why the process has to happen. I understand that these animals were, um, you know, born and, you know, raised to be killed. Ultimately, at the end of the day, to be killed. But it's the, the other stuff. The taking metal rods and beating these animals. Just for the hell of it. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, blasting them with pressure washers. Um, different things like that. That's the stuff that bothers me. When you clearly step out of bounds, that's the stuff that drives me nuts. That's the stuff that keeps me up at night. And, you know, for those of you who who actually, you know, have the stomach to look up Meet Your Meat on YouTube and watch it, I tip my hat to you because it's not easy shit to watch, you know. Like I said, it doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, it's going to affect you, you know. Um, but I, I do want to warn you guys, I mean, this is footage that is going to upset you. In some way, shape, or form, it's going to upset you. It's going to affect you. And, um, you know, it's going to give you nightmares. So, 
you know, I just want to give you guys a heads up. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I didn't want this video to be about, you know, preaching, going vegan or anything like that. That's not what this video is about. It's more about, you know, people need to know what, uh, what goes on. You meat eaters, you hear that? Doesn't matter what kind of condition the animals are in, they still deem that meat acceptable to that. You could be eating bottom of the barrel meat. Put a little barbecue sauce on it, still tastes the same, right? Yeah, they want to call that life, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah, true. Look at this. That's right, their whole life inside these things. Inside these crates, can't even turn around. Like, how did they justify that, you know, without any painkillers? The problem with farm animals and facilities like this is there's very little government oversight or regulation, if any, you know. Oh, there you go, pig thumping, the most horrific practice in these facilities. Of generating profits for the company, if they can make it to slaughter. 